he has to make at least two hundred thousand a year. Are you on drugs? Stop it. Get some help. Welcome to another video. Before I get into today's video, I just want to make a disclaimer. A lot of the things that I'm going to cover in this video is about black women. Now, the reason why I want to make this disclaimer is because the things that I'm going to say may trigger you. If you're an overweight black woman watching this video, this video may trigger you. And I just want to preface that I am in no way, shape, or form attacking overweight or any black women or black people in general. You know, I was always taught growing up that I would rather be hurt by the truth than loved by a liar. So today, I'm gonna hurt you with some truth because I would rather tell you the truth because wouldn't you rather hear the truth than continue to be lied to? Now, there's nothing wrong with overweight people, but to say and push the narrative that an overweight person is more healthy than an under or an average weight person is absurd. And we don't do that. At least on this channel. Let's go ahead and roll the first clip. He has to make at least 200000 a year. Are you on drugs? No. Now, this woman is clearly delusional because why would you want or why do you think that you can attract a man making 200k a year and you look like Diglett from Pokemon? You look like Mrs. Potato Head. You look like a potato and you want a man that makes... 200k a year that's the reason why kendra g was like are you on drugs because you have to be on some type of narcotic as a woman that looks the way that you do you're clearly overweight and i want to talk to the guys stop blowing up these women's heads these women are not attractive because what you're doing is you are blowing up this woman's head making her feel that or just because she got some play from a broke dusty man that means she's on beyonce level or let, let's roll the second one Let, let's roll the second clip you asked me to rate myself one to ten i am a ten a 10 out of 10. I sentence you to 500 lashes. The only men who are saying that I'm a two on a 10 scale can't afford dinner, okay? Can't afford my bills and are always complaining about how they want women to go 50-50 with them on dates. Okay, babes, I'm a 10. Stop it, get some help. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I'm laughing because the entitlement and the audacity of these overweight women. No, no, you are not attractive enough to even utter the word 10 out of your mouth. You are not a 10. You are a negative 10. Bigger women are not attractive. They're attractive enough to lay with. 
They are not attractive enough to wife up. You want to know why? Because back in the day, I don't know if y'all remember, back in the day, bigger women used to be something that you slept with at night. Whenever you were going through a drought and you had a big woman, you would bring her over to the crib at night. Y'all would do whatever it is y'all wanted to do. And then y'all would, she would go on about her day. But she came over at night, she left at night. You were ashamed of sleeping with a bigger woman. Now, I'm not going after men that genuinely like bigger women. What I'm saying is that Men in general, we need to be careful what we say to a woman. We need to stop blowing up these women's heads when it comes to dating and relationships. We need to stop making these bigger women feel like I'm Lizzo and I'm a 10. I'm a 10 because so many guys want me. No, broke, dusty men like big Dusty women. Gotti! Gotti! You are not a 10. You are not beyond sight level. Nobody's flooding your inbox. And this is where the reality check comes from. Like, you can be a 10. I believe bigger black women can be a 10. And here's why. Under all of that fat is your beauty. You can be a 10, but you have to diet, you have to exercise, you have to take care of your body, drink plenty of water. If you, if you want to be a 10, if you are a bigger woman, here's how you do it. Number one, throw away all processed food. It's not good for you. It's not making you any slimmer. You need to replace all of that processed food with healthy food, vegetables, fruit, home-cooked meals. Decrease your salt. Decrease your cholesterol. Get a full workup at the doctor. Go to the doctor. Get a full workup. After you get a full workup, then you can go to a nutritionist who can then tell you, okay, this is what you need to eat. This is what you don't need to eat. This is what you need to eat. This is what you need to get rid of. Then you go to the gym. But before you go to the gym, I don't want you to quit going to the gym by just Throwing yourself in there. So here's what you do. Walk. Walking is free. Walking is 100% free. So if you start walking, you're going to get your body used to being active. That way, when you go to the gym, your body's already used to being somewhat active. So now you're walking, you're drinking more water, you're starting to eat right. Now you go to the gym. After you go to the gym, you pay for a trainer. You pay for a trainer. You go to the gym. You pay for a trainer. That trainer is going to be like, what are your goals? What do you want to do? You want to slim down? You want to tone up? You want more muscle? You want less muscle? You want to trim body fat? They'll give you a workout plan and a diet plan to help you reach your goals. And then the last but not least is consistency. That's the biggest thing. There's going to be times where you don't want to go to the gym. There's going to be times where you don't want to eat right. You're going to see a pizza Fried chicken, 
mashed potatoes. You're going to want to go to the buffet. And I'm not saying you shouldn't do that. Everything in moderation. You can still have your pizza, fried chicken, whatever it is you eat. I love pizza. I'll eat pizza occasionally. You don't have to cut out everything bad, but what you want to do is you want to gradually increase the good stuff while weaning yourself off of the bad stuff. And that depends on who you are, but you need to throw away all of that processed food because it's not good for you. Then, once you've been consistent at the gym, you've been working out, you've been working hard, you're noticing a difference, then you can call yourself an 8, 9, or a 10, or even a 7 or a 6. But, again, you need to do this for you. If you don't feel there's anything wrong with you being big, then, then by all means. But I'm here to tell you that you're not a 10. If you're an overweight woman, you are not a 10. But you can be one if you diet, exercise, work out, take care of your body. And I'm going to leave you with this. You don't want to leave this earth prematurely. Take care of yourself. Your health is your wealth. And from one black man to black women and even black men that may be overweight, I want to say you can do it. You never build, you never tear somebody down without building them back up. And over here, we tell the truth, but we also inspire you. If you're a bigger woman, I believe in you. I believe that you can lose weight, eat healthy, and be a very healthy woman or man. So with that being said, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Tickle that notification bell to let you know when I upload content. And until next time, peace.